What's up, YouTube? It's uh, Steeler Fan 833 here, and I'm gonna have a comparison of three really good headphones, apparently to me. Um, each of them from forty dollars to thirty, uh, three hundred dollars, um, and actually goes from lowest to highest according from left to right. So, on your left, it is a Sony X3 X XB. 300 the middle Sony XB 500 and to the right the beat studio <laughs> so I made a little chart with all these categories that would make a perfect headphone and kind of scored them myself according to my own opinions um and I already tested them all out my on my own time and this video is just basically a recap of what headphone is better. Um, these are really different headphones. Well, besides the Sony, uh, they're kind of really like different. I mean, they're both for the same thing to listen to music in your spare time, but it's just like a different. Uh, it's like modern, and then like, and they're still modern, but it's like older. Um, type of headphone. Alright, so, uh, let's start off with the first category, looks. I gave my first check to the Beat Studio. Uh, that's my opinion. I feel that they look cooler. I feel like that's part of the money that you're paying for them, is for them to look cool. And I like that they have all different colors for the studios. Um, they have, I, I don't know how much they have, but they have a lot. Um, for the Sonys, I guess these would look cool to, like, the sensible type of person that, like, doesn't look like to be flashy and, and like that, like, you know, that, that kind of person that kind of just listens to music on his own and walks around and probably travels the bus and stuff like that that doesn't want to make a big nuisance to everyone else. Um, yeah, they kind of have, kind of reminds me of the Bose color scheme, the black and silver look um so yeah so I give my check to the Beat Studio for sound I I gave two checks one check for the XP500 and one check for the studio really all headphones all these headphones sound awesome especially to the person that doesn't have a lot of money and just wants to get headphones and I mean, Beats are expensive, but it's still it's still in the uh, price range of a regular person just going by every day. Um, so yeah, these all sound awesome, and I just it was a hard decision. I I picked the Beats and the XB 500s only because uh, the bass the bass. I mean, 300. Yeah, they they do have bass, and it's even in the name the XB for. For both 500 and 300 means extra bass, and they are, they do have a lot of bass, but these kind of, these two overpower that one, and like when you listen to it with the whole volume up, and your iPod doesn't even have to be set for the uh, EQ for bass booster, and these things will shake, they they will, um, it's it's a great feeling actually. Like, you're getting ready for, like, a football or some game like that, and you just need that, like, pump. You need that, like, like, get going kind of feeling. And that's, these deliver that. Um, so, that's for sound. Next category, durability. Um, I put another two checks for 500 and the studios, only because they all are made of plastic, so we already know that. But it ranges from cheap plastic to more expensive, maybe, and nice feeling plastic. And that's what I think the studios have. I think they overall are the mo more durable out of these two. But I still gave a check to the XB 500 anyway because they are a nice headphone that will last you a long time. Um, they're great for like playing basketball, let's say, running around walking around, doing all that stuff. Uh, same with Beats, but Beats, you know, they're expensive. I wouldn't walk around and play basketball with them. 
God forbid you drop them and you mess them up. So, but they're still durable though. So if you did drop them, they probably wouldn't break. Um, so yeah, they're probably actually the most durable out of all Beats um, headphones. Maybe with an exception of the mixers, which are David Guetta's ones. But let's not get into that. So all right, that's durability. Comfortability. That's the next category. Uh, again, I gave two checks to the 500s and the studios only because this is probably one of the best parts about the headphones. They both have their own different, like, com com like comfy, like, feeling. Like, let's say with the 500s, you have, like, that ear cup that just, like, it just forms to your ear. And the actual ear cups are probably larger than most ears. Um, I have large ears. And they fit around my ears, surprisingly. And it just, it's still comfortable. Like, And then you have like that like plush on the outside that just, boom, it just makes it perfect for you. Alright. And then I'm going to show you the inside. This is where your ear would lay in here. Let's see if I can get the light and see the driver. There's the driver. So you're, the sound's going straight to your ear, which is where you're going to get all that, like, music and like you're gonna get like that perfect sound straight from that nothing's gonna distort it nothing and you have like this like plush like sponge I, it's not even a sponge but it's like it feels like that it's soft and uh they do slide up on each side like that and this is one thing i do like about my sony's even both of them they have this like slide thing that it still keeps it like where you need it to be and it won't move even if you are playing basketball with them or something like that or running around but it's like undetected like like you can't really see that it's like moved up and it's it still looks stylish like with the studios so though you move it up because this is where I where my head adjusts to it and you have like that silver band that's the only thing I don't like about the, the studios is that that happens to it. I mean, it doesn't look bad, but it would look better if it was, like, one straight band. Um, yeah, but let's get into the comfortability, you know. These ear cups, they may not have as much plush as the XP500s do, but they are some soft, soft leather. It is. It really is. Like, it just, especially the shape, it just come, like, forms to your, like, your whole head. And that makes it comfortable. Um, even like the, the headband. This is probably like the plus for this. Because it does have like like a balance, like comfy like feeling to it. It has the ear cups and then the headband. It's not too like, it's not too like big and bulgy. Like the, maybe, like the 500s ear cups. And the 500s, they only have like this much. Like they don't have a lot of comfiness for their headband um the 300s they they have like minimal like like comfiness i guess you can say they have no padding whatsoever on this and the only padding that they have is right on the ear cup which may distort your music actually because there's no like hole if you see like in the beats in the um, 500 there's like a hole that like the driver's right next to your ear Maybe not for the beats because there's a little like piece of like foam like over it, but it's still right next to your ear. These, however, like aren't, and there's oh you're only relying on the holes, which can distort your music. So that's the only thing that's bad about the 300s. So that accessories. The only check I gave out for this category is to the studios, only because the Sony's. I bought at an outlet store, which I got them refurbished, um, and they only came with the warranty paper and the box itself, and the packaging, which was just like some plastic wrap, um, or bubble wrap, whatever it was, I forget, but the studios, I bought them at Best Buy, and they came with all this stuff inside the package. Um, they came with this cloth, right here, it's a knife for, uh, Wiping down your headphones. Um, good thing that my headphones don't attract fingerprints like the glossy ones do. Mine aren't glossy, so I really don't have to use this much, but um, it's still nice to have, you know. 
Then here's the eighth to a quarter inch um, jack, and this is used for like all different kinds of equipment that you can just plug into the one end of your um, cord. And then here is the airplane adapter. I really don't travel that much, especially by airplane, and it's not that important to me. But you know, it's still it's still awesome. You know, just to have that with you, just. God forbid you need to use it. It's still nice to have. Um, since the headphones um, are like the wires are detachable for the uh, for the Beats, which is an awesome plus because God forbid your wire gets ruined, you don't have to get a whole new headphone um, and waste that money. They just and they actually give you two, so if you do break one, you have another one to use. But only one has the eye sounding talk, which you can just play. And pause your um, music, which is nice too. It does have a mic just in case you uh, need to use it for like your Apple or BlackBerry phone, I think. But um, it does it does work for an Android phone, but it's like weird though. I don't use it for my phone that much. And then that's just a plain cable, and that's that's why I like the Beats over the Sony's is because the Sony's already have the headphones attached, and they come on both sides of. The studios only come up, they only plug into one side, which is an, another good plus. And actually, unfortunately, the one jack, the end jack on this headphone, I mean, they still work perfectly. But my dog chewed this rubber piece. <laughs> so, I mean, I still use them, but not a lot. So, that's the accessories for the beats. Actually, wait, I forgot the one of the biggest things here the hard clamshell case and just put these in here um i don't like to use this like i don't if i'm home i don't like to store them in here only because it'll weaken the headphones itself after a while putting it in there the joints and everything so eventually i'm gonna get a stand but i don't like to put it in there when i'm done using them at my own house something like that so all right so we did accessories now isolation i gave these to the to the two Sony's and I know that this uh, studios are powered isolation headphones but you know there's I guess it's just because they're so loud that if you put them on your head and you do turn it up all the way other people will definitely hear it I put it up halfway where I can like I can hear the music but it's not blasting and it's like comfortable and my dad could still hear it a little bit so that's how much the studios leak and they are probably um, them and the solos are probably the worst with uh, is isolation of the music. The Sony's are nice because, especially the um, the 500s, well, and the 300s too. But the 500s have like that cup that fully surrounds your ear, and it traps that music in. With with the 300s, they are kind of on ear type, and they do they do leak, but it's not as much as the 500s or the studios even and then let's get into portability um i put a check down for the 300s and the studios I put a check down for the 300s because they're small they're lightweight they're the lightest out of both of these all these headphones and they just you can just throw them on your head neck whatever and just walk around they're not really much of a hassle um the studios they have that case, like I said earlier, with the accessories. But they have that case that you can put them in if you're traveling or something like that. Which, um, I don't do much, so. And then the 500s, they're just bulky, and I, I don't, I wouldn't want to wear them, like, if I'm traveling. I would, that's not my style, because they didn't even come with a case or anything like that. And, um, uh, they don't fold up. The stu studios do fold up like this, because that's how they get into their case. Like that, so. But that's what weakens our joints after a while. Costs. I put my check to the three hundred because obviously there's a less amount of money. I think I bought these about for forty bucks, but they are refurbished as long as the five hundred, which I think I got for sixty. So they probably were a little bit less than what usually were. The studios were three hundred dollars and. I think a lot of that money is being paid for Dr. Dre endorsement, and um, it is a little bit overrated. But you have to give it to Monster because the sound is really nice, 
and I feel 